Hello, I'm Stefan Lindler from Celemony Software. I'm coordinating the beta test of our new Melodyne editor, which we will be testing over the next weeks. You can participate in this test as a registered Melodyne user. You can download your personal Melodyne editor beta version. And uh, we've set up a special forum on our website for you to report your findings. And my colleagues and I, we will be monitoring this forum, so it's a good chance that we have personal contact over the next weeks. With this little film, I want to show you how to um, access the new program, how to install it and everything, and I'll show a lot of the new functions as well, so this should give you an easy start when you work with the program. Before we get going, let me point out that this is still a beta version, which means um, you shouldn't use it in your daily production unless you make a copy of your files and only work on the safety copy then, for example. Also, you must know that this beta version won't be compatible with the final release version, so this means everything you do now with the beta version can't be opened in the final release version. Okay, let's get going. The first thing I want to show you is how to get your hands on the new program. You either receive an email from us giving you a direct download link, or you can access this download section manually by logging into your MyCelemony account. And that's what I want to show you first now. We placed your personal beta version directly in your MyCelemony account. Log in there with your already existing username and password. The first thing you'll see here is an invitation to the public beta test. Click on the orange link and your personalized serial number will be created. Now you see Melodyne Editor Public Beta as a new product in your account. Follow the orange download link next to the program name. After reading and accepting the beta test agreement, you'll find everything you need to get going. There are installers for Mac and PC. At an early stage of our public beta test, these installers will contain the standalone version. A few weeks later, you'll find installers for the plugin versions of Melodyne Editor here as well. We'll keep you informed via email when this will happen. You may also download some audio files here, which are the same files I'm going to use in this film. Now load the installer. This will automatically install all necessary documentation along with the program. After downloading all the stuff, start the installation program. You don't need to type in any serial number here, since this installer is already a personalized version just for you. This means it will run on your machine as long as any other edition of Melodyne has already been installed and activated on this machine. If you are using your existing Melodyne on an iLog, you need to run the Melodyne Editor beta version with your iLog as well. In such case, go to iLog.com now and you'll find an editor license there. The new beta version won't replace the existing Melodyne plugin on your machine. So, when you open a project that was done with Melodyne plugin, it will still open with Melodyne plugin and you just go ahead with your work, or you decide to try out the Melodyne Editor beta version, then you would bounce the files to disk and open them with Editor and explore all the new functions. Uh, with the final release version, this will be different, of course. You then simply open your existing project and all files that uh, have been done with plugin will automatically open with Melodyne Editor and you just go ahead with your work. In this film, I'm going to use both the Melodyne Editor standalone version and the plugin version of Melodyne Editor. And the main difference between both programs, programs uh, basically is how to get your files into there. And uh, that's what I want to show you now. First, I'm starting with the standalone version. With the open command from the file menu, you call up a dialog where you navigate to the desired file. Or you drag it from your desktop onto the Melodyne window. Upon loading, the file gets analyzed and you can easily look into the recording now to see every single note displayed as what we call blobs. You can read the pitch on the tone ruler to the left side and you can read the position of the note in the time ruler above. After having done a few edits, you may want to save your work via the command Save As in the file menu, either as a new audio file or as a MPD, which is the Melodyne project document that holds all your edits and corrections non-destructively. The plugin version of Melodyne Editor doesn't have its own loading and saving commands since these actions are handled by the host sequencer. So let me show you how to get your tracks from your host sequencer into Melodyne Editor when you use it as a plugin. On track 3 of our little demo song you have an acoustic guitar. Insert Melodyne to this channel strip and open it. Now activate the transfer button. Melodyne is now record ready and you can let your host sequencer play. 
When looking at the stars. This way you kind of re-record the track she to melody. Let's press stop here. Again, after analyzing the recording, Melodyne shows you each individual note inside the recording. You see which guitar note was played when, and you can see how the open strings sustain into each other. So your workflow is pretty simple. Insert Melodyne to the channel strip, activate transfer, and hit play. You can do this for the whole track, or you can transfer small parts here or there. Wherever you have transferred something, you listen back to these copied files, and where you haven't transferred anything yet, you still hear your original track. OK, let's continue. Let me show you how to store your work. When using Melodyne Editor as a plugin, all your edits are saved along with the host project, so you don't need to take extra care for this. But remember, when you did transfer something, a file, a copied file, was written on your disk. And I'll show you where to find these copied files now, because you'll need them when you back up your work. In the preferences of Melodyne Editor, you define a central location on your disk, which is the global path for transfers. Every file that's created during a transfer gets written there. If you prefer to have all files of each specific song in a subfolder of the respective host sequence of project, you can select a project folder. A good idea is to create this project folder in the audio folder of your host sequencer. You only need to handle one folder then when you back up or exchange your work. This procedure is the same on Mac OS X or on Windows. As it is with all other functions of Melodyne Editor, everything works the same on both operating systems. We have prepared two more films for you. The next one is dealing with the basic operation of the program. So you should watch this.